Yeah, and Nicole, she's eight and a half months pregnant, and he's been, he's been putting his hands on her and stuff, you know, like, but I know she wouldn't just leave with him. I know she would not. Jonesboro Police. Hello. Police Department, if you're inside, come out now with your hands up. Okay. Jonesboro Police, Charles Carlisle, come out with your hands up. You're going to be dog bit or shot. On Sunday, April 21st of 2024, police received a report that a woman might have been kidnapped by her ex-boyfriend, 34-year-old Charles Clayton Carlisle. Officers from the Jonesboro Police Department collaborated with White County authorities to investigate the situation, but were initially unable to locate either individual. Tasha Lame. Gerard, oh What's my up, gosh, babe? how are you? Good. What's going on, man? Okay, so Nicole is my best friend. That's her car right there. Which one? The white one? Yeah, okay, so they've already... They got a no contact order, and Charlie is. Hooked. So who, like, who are these people? So Nicole's your best friend. Yeah, Who's we Charlie? got out of reentry together, and we moved here. Okay. Okay. So Charlie you guys live together. No, she lives right there. I live over there. Okay. Yeah. No. But okay, so he left her for another girl. Well, he stole that girl's car today. It's been reported stolen. He stole the other girl's car. Yeah, and showed up over here, no shirt on, acting crazy. Were you over here when it happened, or? I left before it got crazy, but Natalie was here, and he kept, he, he made her leave. Who's Natalie? Uh, one of our other girls. I don't know if she's home or not, but I can find out. She's the one I had going here, and check and make sure everything, and she said the apartment, it's obviously looked like they were fighting, and all that. It's unlocked. Okay, so... Let's start from the beginning. So you, Nicole, and what was the other girl's name? I walked over here when I seen Katie's car because I was like, uh-oh, she's eight and a half months pregnant. <clears throat> hey. Um, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, okay, so. So Nicole was here. Yeah. And then you came over here. Yeah, Dustin's like, you need to go check on Nicole because Katie's car is out there. And I was like, what? So I... I, and Katie, Katie, Katie is, is the other girl. Okay. And that's the car he was in, that 15, 2015 Malibu. Yeah. See, this is where the golf club and then he's kicked your door, door in. So was this like today or was this? Yes. Look. This was today. Yeah. And then, yeah, all this, I guess he ramps that in here. That light comes on. All this was broken. And uh, she got, her mom said she called from that number in Bald Knob at a gas station, crying, screaming. And uh, the phone got down. hung up on, and that gas station guy called her back, said that they were fighting. And they took off toward McDonald's, which would be towards Cersei. Okay. And nobody's so heard from them since. You guys seen the other girl's car here. Yeah. Which yeah. is Katie's car. Yeah, Katie Cooper. Katie Charlie Cooper. was driving it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was reported stolen. The cops went to Golden Corral today looking for Charlie. Okay. And so you were like, I need to go over there and yeah, check on her. Yeah. So you walked over here and then what did you see when you got here? Uh, Charlie had no shirt on. He looked wild. And Nicole was telling Natalie, please don't leave, please don't leave. And Natalie told me that. But... At that point, Charlie just kept saying that, like, he was crazy, dude. Like, we were okay, coming back so. from Dollar General, and we met that car going that way, and there was somebody in there, and I was like, was that Nicole? You met Katie's car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you didn't actually see anything that happened or may have happened. The fighting either. and all that? Yeah. No, no. So did anybody But uh, he had that? already taken possession of her phone and all that, and I said, what are you doing, Charlie? He said, I'm about to uh, act a fool or something. I don't know. And he's, he is violent. He is very violent. They have a no contact order for a domestic thing. And then you and your old man saw, or you thought you saw. No, 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 I saw. You saw the vehicle. Yes. And they were leaving out of here? Uh, they were past, okay, we were, you know that gas station right here, that where the road work is? Yes. It was right past that. Just okay. Right, right there, going what? that way. So you guys were going uh, eastbound? We were coming and here and they were going westbound. Yeah, okay. Hold on, let me see. So where where are y'all getting that she was abducted? Like where? where oh, are she called that she called her mom like <clears throat> bawling, screaming, and that gas station attendant said that they were fighting really bad, and he put her physically put her back in the car. 
Okay. Um, we and called, he is very, very crazy. We called the gas station. Um, they, that dude said that he saw the couple arguing, but there was no physical being put back in the car. Like, she willingly got back in the car with him. There was no physical. It was all verbal. So, where we're at is we're trying to figure out where this whole abduction thing came from. Like, either either the gas station dude's lying or maybe mom misinterpreted something. I guess, did you talk to mom? Yeah. And that's where you're getting the information from? Yeah. It's from mom. Okay, mom hasn't called us. Oh, no, she just wanted me to. She's from Montana, so she just wanted, she said, will you handle it? Okay. Yeah. Um, what is mom's phone number? Let's see. Yeah, and Nicole, she's eight and a half months pregnant, and he's been, he's been putting his hands on her and stuff, you know, like, right now, we just had to go get all the parts for her car, he took the battery off, ripped off hoses, cables, all that stuff, like, but I know she wouldn't just leave with him, I know she would not, Okay. especially in a stolen car, mm -hmm. yeah, because uh, they had that domestic, you know, and they had a no contact order well he moved in with that guy and he's still been you know harassing her and all this stuff and i've told her time and time again nicole you are the one that has to call the police or you both go or yeah. if he calls you go you know what i mean yeah it's just uh it's very confusing because we've got contradicting stories everywhere yeah. so um i don't know if maybe <clears throat> Maybe Nicole wants, in some sort of way, to go with him, and maybe not wanting to tell y'all. She would take the baby stuff. She's doing three, two and a half weeks. No, she would tell me. She would tell me. And she would not get in a stolen car. I, I know that for a fact. She's on parole. What is she on parole for? Uh, drugs. Yeah. And he's on bro too, and I'm scalding. Hello? Hey, is this Miss Martin? It is. Hey, my name is Tasha Drawer. I'm an officer for Jonesboro Police Department. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, I just got done talking to a lady named Megan. Do you know Megan? Yes. Okay, so, um, I guess, Conda, can you tell me what all happened today? I don't know what happened. I had, um, I, said, I talked to Nicole yesterday. I'm her mom. Okay. And, uh, we, God, we talked for about an hour. Charlie, you know, he, she hadn't seen him. You know, she's almost nine months pregnant. Charlie's okay. father. Um, I'm listening to the dispatch now to make sure I don't hear anything. Um, and she said, no, he hasn't been around. So I get this call from a Mohammed something, mm -hmm. and I answered, and it was her at a gas station. Okay. Saying, um, Mom, can you, can you call me? Can you ever come get me? And I said, where are you? And she says, I've, I've been bald knob. I'm in bald knob. And that was it. Okay. So I, that's all I know. Okay, so you oh, got she was no, no, she she's with Charlie, and she said he Charlie was there, and she was involved in up, and that and that was all that was said. Okay, so you got a you got a call from a random number, and it ended up being your daughter Nicole. She's at a gas station, yes. and she wants you to call Megan to come pick her yes. up, and she's involved in up yes. with Charlie. Yes. Okay, so how did the conversation Charlie end? Uh, the phone hung up. Okay, so she hung so, the phone up on you. Yeah. Okay, and then have you heard from her at all since then? No. Have you tried to call her cell phone or anything? Yes. What is the cell phone uh, doing? Uh, it's, it's, it's inactive. I talked to Charlie's mother, Stacy, and she, because Charlie had called her, mm -hmm. um... And Stacy said, guess what? He broke her phone again. So this is like the fifth phone he's broken. So her new cell phone is broken again. So she has no phone. She was, uh, I had called that number back, and that was a number for the gas station, some gas station in Ball Knob. Okay. 
Um, did Stacy mention anything about Charlie telling her that mm -hmm. they were going to see somebody or anything like that? No, I can give you Stacy's number. Yeah, if you don't care to. What is, um, what's Stacy's name? Okay, um, whenever you talked to Nicole, did she, like, did she sound angry? Did she sound irritated? Did she sound scared? Did she sound just normal? Yeah. Panicked. Panicked, okay. She was talking, I couldn't even understand what she was saying. I would tell, you know, Charlie's here, call me again. Yeah, and that was, that was basically it. Okay. All right, so, but that's all that was said on the phone, though, was that she was involved yeah. not with Charlie, and she wanted you to call Megan to come pick her up. Yes. All righty. Okay. okay. All right, Miss Laura. All Laura. right. I appreciate you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Bye. Later that night, around 10.30 p.m., a neighbor reported hearing a woman screaming and crying inside of an apartment on Russell Drive. When officers arrived at the scene, they could hear a man and woman inside the apartment. The affidavit indicated that the woman sounded as if she was in distress. Jonesboro Police. Police Department. Despite repeated requests, the occupants refused to open the door. Concerned for the woman's safety, officers decided to force entry into the apartment, and upon entering, they found a couch pushed in front of the door, blocking any entry or exit. After moving the couch, officers discovered Carlisle hiding in a bedroom and promptly arrested him. I heard a female crying. It sounded like a white male answered the door. I can't get anybody here now. It's all quiet. Jonesboro Police Department, hello? Hey Charles, if you're in there, I just need to talk to you, man. Come on out. Knocked on the door. I said, Police Department. He said, who is it? And she, dude, she was crying and everything. She sounded hysterical. And all of a sudden, I can't hear anything. I didn't hear anything get moved in front of the door or anything like that, you know, that kind of thing, but it's dead quiet now. He has a felony statewide warrant. He's got a felony warrant, violation of contact order. I don't think anybody's been able to lay eyes on her yet, I don't know. So I don't know if she's injured or anything like that. Hold the door, call LT. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what it was, dude. You hold it for me? Yeah, I got you. 43. Police department, if you're inside, come out now with your hands up. We gotta make sure she's okay, Charles. So I just got off the phone line. I haven't tried to do anything about that. As far as I can tell, like I told them, I couldn't hear anything get moved in front of the door or anything like that. So. Jonesboro Police Department. Mm -hmm. That's what I just got the phone with. So how do you want to play it? Police department, open the door! Barricade. Jonesboro Police! Charles Carlisle! Come out with your hands up! You're going to be dog bit or shot! Hold it, hold it. Hold that. Hold it. Hold it. Come here. Come here. Come, Come here. here. Turn around. Turn around. Hey. Oh. Hey, guys. Check this out. What is going on? Got it. Got it. Everybody back. What's going on, guys? You're under arrest. For what? For one, you have a, you have a warrant. Well, I know that, but I didn't do nothing. Who's in the bathroom? That's my pregnant fiance, dude. She's pregnant and naked. Well, you can come to the door. Because I have a warning and I was trying to say goodbye to her. You get all tight? Yeah, it's too tight, actually. Hey, stand up. Okay, y'all were a place for me, but y'all this entire time.
Walk. Are you the only other person in here? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you decent? I know. I'm in the shower. I need you to step out. I need you to step out. Towel, clothes, whatever you got to do. Have we cleared the rest of it? Y'all cleared it? Well, explain that to you. Step out and put the clothes on. So we were under the impression, and, we, and our officer heard somebody that sounded as though they were in distress. And so whenever we arrived, we had called out and called out and called out. We beat on every window and every door trying to get in here. In addition, yes, in addition to that, he has a, he has a felony warrant statewide. Nationwide. Nationwide pickup. Yeah, we got Mr. Carlisle. So, and we know there was an altercation here earlier today, or maybe not in this residence, but I know involving him, and I believe you. Um, what was the, you know, the victim's name from earlier? Oh, okay. I'm going to give now. you a second. Step out, and I'm going to let you put on some clothes, okay? And then you're going to come out here, and we're going to talk some more. So what is going on, though, besides the warrant? Okay, so you have a felony. A felony? What? It's a nationwide pickup for a warrant. Oh, okay. Did you not know that? Uh, no, I knew I had a parole warrant. I already already got locked up for just not too long ago. My parole officer released me from jail. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't pick up or whatever. It's only a misdemeanor. It's nationwide pickup, so I don't know what yeah, what kind of warrant it is, but it's nationwide. It's just misdemeanor. It's nationwide. I assume it's more misdemeanor, but no, it's misdemeanor. Well, but in all fairness, I, I don't pick up the warrant, so yeah, I know what it is. All right. Good. You have a nationwide yeah. parole warrant, and then you violated no contact order. You and uh, that girl have a no contact order against each other. That's up, though. What do you mean it's up? I thought it was only like three months. They said it was three months no contact order. No, it's still valid. What? Yep. And we already went and closed that case and court and everything. Yeah, it's definitely still valid. The victim informed investigators that while Carlisle did not physically harm her, he had entered her home without her permission and refused to leave. Okay, well, uh, there was definitely exigent circumstances behind you. And with all we are in it's like, I'm not leaving you in here. Hey, you know what's crazy? You see how my couch is? So he must have had the couch like this for me to have to travel to. Right, it was like, in front of the doorway. Because I, I, I was just in the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, hear me, I was like, trying to sleep. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Like, you know, I just moved the couch in front of the I can see it now. Yeah. I, I see it. He, he does it. He tries to barricade me in. Yeah. But I mean, now, now he, he doesn't mean, like, he doesn't mean. So let's, let's get where we were. So you didn't get in the car with him. No. And then he left. Yes. And then. Yes, it was so, from there. So he left. And then I'm, I call my mom. Because like, at this point, my mom always went back. So this is what I'm talking about. So then you know, so, so where it happened. Mom, yeah, my mom's like, hey, yeah, I'm a witness, you know? Yeah. And mom's like, you know, here, just want to give you a 21 and a half some more charges. I'll let you know here in just a minute. My daughter busted things. He busted my door. Like, I mean, I, I, he had to lock all my clothes, busted right in, you know what I'm saying, all the time. So, so I, I finally got my door fixed yesterday, but I gotta get it fixed again, but it's fine. But my mom's like, you know, just get your door fixed, go inside your house, lock it up, okay? But then I was like, you know, I don't, I don't really want to be alone because sometimes when, he gets, he gets mad, and I, I told him, no, I'm not, 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 i am not 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 i am not
The neighbor told us they could hear someone who were crying. Yes, I was crying because, because, I, because the thing is, when when he gets my, uh, I, I just he, he can't be here. I don't want to get in no more trouble. I, 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 I mean, yeah. Well, we've already heard that's out of the way. You're not in trouble. This, but he made, so, I do love him, but I just, I, mean, he just, I don't know why he just thinks this, he's invincible. To, I mean, that ain't the first time he does it too, but I, mean, I freak out. I, mean, I get in distress because you can't be in my apartment. It's very common behavior with the users. Okay. I know, I know. You're saying so, that it's the beat. When you were crying, was he, what was he, was he doing something? Like hurting? Yeah. No, 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 no. I was just freaking out because I, 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 I have PTSD from it, you know. So I mean, yeah, I yelled. You know? Were you in fear for your safety? I mean, I mean, no, but he, but he was, he was just trying to, he was like, he was like, he was just trying to be like, babe, just calm down. I'm sorry. I want you to know that I'm going away for a long time. I've worked, and I'm, 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 and I was like. I was like, well, I was like, what the fuck did you do? And I was like, actually, I, 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 I don't even care. I'm, I, I, I know. I, I just, I can't worry about the norm. I can't. I just, you just gotta. That, that's on you. You know I mean? And I said, but please, just, just get out of my house. And just, I just get out. You need to fucking get out of my house. You know what I mean? Like, you just, you have to. You know what I mean? It's, I just, I, just, I can't see him like that, and it hurts. You know what I mean? It, it puts me in distress, man. It does. You know what I mean? How long was he back here before we came? Like, how long? How long do you think he was here before we showed up? Okay, so when, when, when I was here, I mean, he was in here, I, I, I was in the shower, so he, I mean, he just must have came up, like, like literally. So, I mean, but, but see, now, 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 now there, there, there's times where he, he pops up randomly, you know, he'll be like, he'll have a vehicle, but he'll just show up, or like, you know, like, he, has, he has a lot of friends here, too, he, he has, he's friends with Natalie over here, me again, he has, he has a lot of buddies, like, in our area, he could be like, you know, just kind of like, they're waiting for me to just come home, or, you know what I mean? So, so there's, there's a lot of people friends in the apartment. It's weird. I don't know. It's just like that. But, yeah, but I, I, I think, honestly, he might, he might have been in my friend Natalie's house, which is right here. Because then Natalie called me earlier. It was like, hey, uh. So he left, he sped away, then you got in the shower and he showed back up. Yeah, well, well I, I, well, I just got back from Walmart. I, I, I literally just got back. I, I, just, I, 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 I show up from our seat. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm from Walmart, so. I believe so. Me by myself. I'm, not, saying? I'm not saying you're lying. Or anything. So he must have seen me pulled up and got dropped off. You know I mean? Gotcha. And so I came home and took him saying, and then he came to my door. Yeah. And then the only reason my door was unlocked because for me, and like I, I can prove this, I can prove this. She, she, she just has another phone. Well, I, I, I cracked the screen in my phone and I got a new phone and my SIM card is in the other phone mm -hmm. to, to change it out. You know, so she's supposed, she's supposed to be you know, saying, popping up. So I said, I'll leave my door locked for you. You know, this, this is what. Listen. I, so I know, I know. I mean, you just. I know. I'm, I'm, I I'm sorry. You're okay. Sucks. You're not in trouble. Okay. It sucks for him too. Yeah, because I do look for all of you, but, but you just used to. You, I, I mean, you know, it just, I know where every baby is stuff, but he, he has to live right. You, you, you can't. You can't. It's, it's, no, it's no good for things. you or your baby the way he is right now. It's no good, you know. And then, then my clothes, like on my bed, you know, I guess like. I don't know how that happened. Like, all my clothes are all, my, they're clean, but they're all, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't know. Okay. Do you think, should we get you checked out? Do you want us to get you asked to check you out? Because you're, you're really, really in the I don't want to. I, I, I mean, I mean, I, I just been screaming, you know, I, I hate screaming and just hate people, you know? But, but, other than that, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good, you know? I'll put your butt with something. Any questions you have for me? Uh, I, I, I wish I were here the day that night and we went to jail because I, I feel like you was young. They, I, the, the officers that were working that night, I, think I, I had hogs and crane, I think. It, yeah. it, was, just, it was, they were like, you know what I mean? This is what, like, I, like, I, I couldn't believe I wasn't going to jail. You know what I mean? They were, I mean well, like she said, you're not in any kind of trouble, and, and to, to, if it makes you feel better, pretty much the whole shift was out here trying to get him. So, um, in this case, this is something I want to ask you. This, this is your residence, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yes, I, I have my lease. Does he, does he, before today or the past couple of days, has he ever stayed here? Uh, no. Not really? Okay, so. So, well, so before he, he, he has, but so, but so, I mean, he stayed here, we, then he went to jail, okay? Okay, but I'm just within the past two weeks, we'll say. Oh, no, no, no. no, no okay, no, no, with no, that no, being no, said, no. we found him in this back bedroom. Is there anything in there that you think he might have left or anything like that that's not yours that would be his? Because what we were told yeah. is that, with it, especially with him being a felon, that he's supposed to known to be carry carry firearms. Is that is there anything that, I mean I, I would never carry a firearm. Well I, I, I know, him. I know. Him. Oh. We're talking about him because well, I, 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 I I've never seen him with a firearm either. Like, okay. I, like I said, I think that was some of the, the notes we've been given is he's known to probably carry firearms and with him being found back here, 
I'm not really supposed to be staying here or anything like that. Just trying to make sure he didn't leave like, anything. Yes, yeah, but, but no, as I've been told, and then went further. Okay. Like, just went back there. And went. Okay. Yeah, 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 no, there, there should be absolutely no. Oh my God, there, there should be Okay, no like I said, I just, I just wanted to ask you. Yeah, yeah, yeah this um, be fine. So real quick, like I said, this is not only state law; it's also our policy that we got to ask you these stuff. You don't have to answer them. I just have to ask them to just follow me for not answered. They're just yes or no questions, okay? Um, so this first one: Has he ever used a weapon against you or threatened you with a weapon? No. No. Okay. Um, has he ever threatened to kill you or any of your children? No. No? Okay. Um, do you ever think he would try to kill you? No. I, no. I mean, I mean, no. I mean, it, so here's the thing. So ever since we got a date, so like the, with the whole thing that happened, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's the alcohol. It has to be. I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if he's messing with you. He said, yeah, I work a lot. I, I, I work a right. I'm, I'm a manager. I got you. But uh, as far as, you know. But no, but I, I don't think if, it, if it, that would happen, it would be intentionally, you just, when he gets, like, like before we, we did go to jail that night, he right. got, like, I could tell, like, in some people's eyes, you just see the, the right. it's, but you know, as far as, you know, stuff. the past couple of days is, oh, yeah, no, 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 okay. Um, does, does he have a weapon that he can get to easily? Any kind of guns, knives, anything like that? That he looks scary? I um, mean, he, 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 he's a knife guy, but, like, uh. He usually keeps a pocket knife on him. Okay, would you say he probably does like to keep weapons on him? Like, like a pocket knife? Is that like, yeah, but I have nothing like big or nothing. Like, it's just a little... Okay. Yes. Like, um, has he ever tried to choke you, strangle you, anything like that? No. I mean, okay, but he's he, okay, when we went to the night, he went to jail, he did choke me, and it's in my paperwork. Okay, alright. But he, he felt guilty for that, and that's I got you. He uh, is he, yes. is he violently or constantly jealous about anything? No, 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 no. Okay. Just, just when he's um, on substances, he's just different. It's, it's, I got you. It's so hard. It's so it's crazy knowing someone so sober, you know, for so long. Right. And it's like then people, you know, get like that. Then you, it's I got you. Like you don't really know does that. he does he try to control most of your daily activities? Uh, he he does when he's on substances, but okay. I mean, but ever since this, we've got a deal, he's been living alone. But I, I leave alone. Have y'all uh, have y'all been separated after living together? But have you are y'all married? Anything like that? Yeah, okay, so. Um, is he, or are, are, are you currently unemployed? No, I'm not. Okay, where, where do you work at? It's on, it's on Hilltop. Hilltop? Okay. Oh, I'm full-time. Yeah, is he currently unemployed? Uh, no. He works at Golden Corral. Golden Corral here in Jonesboro? Yes, sir. Okay. He's a full-time girl. Uh, let's see here. Uh, has he ever tried to kill himself? No. Okay. No. Okay. Um, I, 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 he's not suicidal. Uh, as far as how, how many children do you have? I, I, well, just about, are you just about to have the one? No, I, this is my this is my third one. Okay. Well, with that being said, do y'all have any children together that he doesn't believe is his? No, no, no. We we we, we, we have a few together. Yes, there's no. I say there's no. He doesn't dispute any of that. No. Okay. Okay. Let, let me know. Um, does he try to follow you, spy on you, leave you threatening messages? Anything like that? No? Okay. Uh, as far as the yes or no questions, that's pretty much all we needed. This last one is just kind of open-ended. Is there anything on here that we didn't already ask or hasn't been covered that worries you about your safety? No, like, like, like honestly, Charlie, he's, he, he means well. You know, I promise you, he means so well. It's just, I, I don't know, ever, ever since we, we so, you, so things have been way different since we got a joke because, I, because I'm just not trying to deal with it because right. it was too much for me. I'll be pregnant, you know, my, my daughter told me this, I mean, just when I went to jail, and it was so embarrassing going to a doc, a doc, my doctor appointment in shekels, okay? It's just mm -hmm. not cool. I'm just not going to do that ever again, you know? So, I, I just didn't keep my distance, you know, because we were, you know, I mean, this, 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 he's the father of my child, you know? So, we were, you know, so Right. Together. But as far as, like I said, we'll, we'll say just within the past two weeks, okay, is there anything that worries you about your safety? No, no, I, okay. I didn't see him. Like, really, ever. Okay. Uh, so as far as that goes, like I said, nobody gets to see this. This gets put in our report. Like I said, it's state law and policy that we do this. Um, the same thing, real quick, I just got to get some info from you, name, date, birth, all that stuff. And once again, nobody gets to see that. It's just for our purposes, okay? Um, what would you, what's your first and last name? I'm Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E. Mm -hmm. What's your last name, Miss Nicole? Uh, Naro, N-A-R-O, I don't know. This, 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 I can't handle that. I'm not, this why I, I just can't do it. That's why, that's why y'all hear me freaking out. Please right. get out of my house. Hey? There's a, this is a Lord's card. It's got all kinds of domestic uh, violence resources, numbers, uh, contact points, stuff like that. If you need to, you can use it. Thank you. Um, and then I'll give you this too. It's well on your app. 
and then this is the case number, the date the report was taken, and then it has, it's just going to be, I'll have my name on here. Um, if you need anything or think of anything else as far as this incident or figure out, you know, there is stuff missing, just anything you can think of as far as what happened tonight, you can always call, you can always go back and add more stuff. Um, just call and say, hey, reference to the case number here, like, I've got more more information for you guys. That's awesome. Yep. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, like, like, I don't know what, like, 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 I don't know what he, what happened, like, he, he I don't know if y'all got a call or something before or something, uh, but he, but he saw like he was in distress, like he was about to go to jail right before he came here. I, I thought like he was right. going to well, so I'm you just, know, he, he's a grown man, he, he knows what he's doing, and, you know, he makes those decisions himself. You didn't yeah. force him to do anything, you didn't make him do anything, and none of this is your fault. He's a grown man that can make his own decisions, and so. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Ah. Yep. If you need anything else, just call us. Yes. yes. Um, do, do, do I need to show up to this court date for this or anything? No, that's just that, so that's the date this was the report was taken. Like I said, if you think of anything else, you can always just call. It's a twenty four hour. Uh, you can call the desk and be like, "Hey, Griffin, this case number. I figured out some some stuff. I want to give you guys." So. so you will. We will have court if he pleads not guilty. You'll get a subpoena to come to court. Okay. Um, if that happens, I'm going to recommend there's a number on there to the Women's Crisis Center. Call them. And have it arranged, get an advocate to go to court with you. Um, they will send somebody, it's someone who's trained, who's been through this stuff, and they will go with you to court so you're not by yourself, and they can kind of help you get through it. And it's not near, because it's kind of hard when you have to face your abuser. And they, they will send somebody with you and help you. Yeah, and they can, a, they can get you counseling and all kinds of stuff too. Yes. So maybe you, you can get your brain past this mess. I know, I know. It's just, yeah. I mean, what, what does he expect, you know? I mean, I don't well, understand what, you know? You're not going to understand it, honey. Like, yeah, I mean, and I, and I feel like now he's going to think that it's my fault because I was screaming stuff. But I was, he needs to get out of my no, house. No, it's his fault for his actions. <laughs> he, he created this. It's his fault. He knew he wasn't supposed to be here. So now he's he's paying for his actions. Yeah. And the board okay. of parole wants him back, too. So he's going back for a while. Because I, he, he went to jail not too long ago, and then they just, they just put him right out. Yeah. If you need us, you can call us anytime, okay? Yeah. As far as for tonight, I would actually probably move that couch back in front of this door so you can get it fixed. Okay. Yep. Carlisle was charged with residential burglary, kidnapping, false imprisonment, and failure to appear on a violation. His bond was set at $75,000. The affidavit also noted that Carlisle is wanted on a felony warrant issued by the Arkansas Board of Parole.